Practical in real life. The birthday princess is ready. <laughs> Why are you laughing? The birthday princess is ready to go. Kai Kai, how old are you today? Seven. Seven years old. Are you happy? Yes. Okay, so you are going to school now to celebrate with your friends. Wow. Don't fall down. No. So, turn again. So, I need to rub powder on your face and lip gloss. Okay, stop. Let me see your dress. Oh, I don't know. You didn't put this on. I'll fix it back. Okay, so this is our birthday dress. Made by Auntie. Who's your favorite Auntie? Uh, <laughs> so, your favorite Auntie, right? Yeah, you have to see it. Who's your favorite Auntie? You. Yeah, I know that. Mommy, is that 29 and Auntie? Say that we should go. By nine. By nine. Okay. Mm. We go. Turn around. Let me see your book. Mm. Mm. I thought by six. Made by all her outfits by her favorite auntie in the whole wide world. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go inside. Let me have my bath. Welcome to another vlog. Yes, yeah, so I just want to start the vlog here. I am heading back home today. Today is Tuesday. I'm heading back home, back to work. But before I leave, I need to go back to my mom's house because my brother is around. It's such a pleasant surprise. I'm so excited. My brother is around. My brother is back. No light. I don't know where it is. Well, let me quickly just see you guys. So, Yesterday was um, yesterday was Kaima's birthday, so we celebrated. I didn't vlog at all, so my sister has that vlog on her channel. Maybe I don't know. It's probably go up before mine, or I don't know to go up. Shall I didn't her because she, you need to really motivate her to. Yes, as I was saying, my brother, but oh, I'm out. I'm out of work because I'm kind of rushing. So he wanted to surprise us yes um today, but my mom spoiled the surprise. But anyway, I'm still excited because my brother is around. Let's go see him. No more talking. Let's go. Let's go. This boy tricked me. I spoke to him like some days ago. If a Dennis. Oh my God. If a no. <laughs> what? This boy. Yeah, I feel like kicking you. <laughs> Abina. Oh. If Enna tricked me, <laughs> this boy I just spoke to you like how many days ago. <laughs> and then other day he called me, the, that night he called me that. That's yeah, it was like, no, that was actually a I, I was I dreaming. Say. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I thought I was dreaming because I didn't even know how I even, I even got up to go and get their shoe. But I totally after that call, I forgot about that conversation. Yeah. Welcome to Nigeria. Uh -uh, now why did you do like that? Why would I do like Girl, that? <laughs> That's all I've gone home now. If if I do not know, I'll still continue. I'll I'll not I'll, it won't be a surprise for me again. Now. Yeah, this is Ifena Dennis OKK, the most eligible bachelor of OKK family. <laughs> Why are you removing your face? <laughs> you are trying to revamp this room that you abandoned. Uh uh, you are serious work. You guys, I'll talk to you later. Let me let me get some love, my brother. <laughs> much 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 later. 
so guys this is my market haul i went to the market on friday i, I, I talked about it in my last vlog although i didn't show ah this gen just came on as soon as i said talking anyway please ignore that noise but i went to the market and i didn't i didn't vlog in the market but i just want to show you guys what i bought i really love this shade of skin tone and crepe that i got i really like this I'm just like a bit darker than this, but it's not for me anyway, it's for a client and I really really love this. What I'm about to make with this is just going to be it's a bomb. <laughs> it's going to be so pretty, like so so pretty. I can't wait to work on this one. This um chantilly lace is so beautiful. And I'm going to be laying it on this. Usually I just I'll I'll put out the I'll show you guys the dress when I'm done. Yeah, so that's that I got um I got this um chantilly lace and i got um skin colored crepe this one just sat in and i can to be using this lining for it even though it's not i couldn't get that much that's how most of these colors i really had to get but i got something close enough so that's cutting line i'm going to be using um some scuba for another project i'm working on this cutting and um, thick lining i'm going to be using for this one i didn't buy much this last in my own bowl the main things that took me to the market were the appliques. So I got some appliques for the um for this pink scuba the dress I'm working on. So I'm going to be using this one to embellish. And I got some other appliques for these shoes I'll be working on now. So I got this blue applique and I got the black of it, this crystal appliques. So this is the black of it. So so nice. So this is the black. I got two of it as well. So two of the black acrylics and two of the blue ones. Love, I really love this. Like it's just it just gives clothes like it takes clothes to another level. <laughs> it was really nice and expensive. That's what it. Then I got some of this streaming and this is a queen is this a queen or iridescence i don't know what they call all these things <laughs> it looks like glitter but it's not it doesn't have like particles coming off so it's just i'm going to be using it for the corsets and then what else do i have here i think i just have thread and hemming gum there's no need gun i'm not going to unpack them and put them where they are this morning. i don't get a lot of black thread because i've been working with a lot of black lately a lot a lot a lot of blacks so i just got some extra Packs and I got some thread for this one. This one, I don't know if it's I just I, I didn't take the um fabric along when I was buying it, so I just swing it for this. Works for this actually, yeah. So I'm going to be using this thread for that one. So that basically it. What else? Yeah, just some hemming gum that I got. I use this a lot as well. Yeah, I didn't buy much. Yeah, so I didn't buy much today. Okay, I did show you guys one more thing. I bought some fabrics for my Christmas tree that I want to use to make um, some bows. I am going to be putting that. Um, I have a separate video for my Christmas tree decorations. So I did some DIYs and all. So I'm going to be showing that in another video. Um, but let me just show you guys quickly the um, fabric that I got for it. I just got some shiny fabric that I'm going to be using to make bows. So this is this is a green one and. Uh, I got a colorful one as well, so I'm going to also use this. I'm gonna use this to make some bows for the tree. That's it. Nothing much. I didn't buy a lot. So yeah, I'm back home. As you can already tell, I'm back home without the kids. They're still in my sister's house. I'm tired. I actually woke up around four to do some work. So I think it's about past seven now. I think I just need to go back and maybe, maybe catch like 30 minutes more just so I don't feel tired. I really feel tired. So I'm going to go back to bed now. I just thought to talk in the vlog. I couldn't really talk. I've not really talked much in the vlog. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, my brother is back. You guys already, you guys already saw him. I'm so excited about that. Um, Kaima, Kaima's birthday was over the weekend, so we had a lot of fun i didn't vlog but my sister vlogged so do also check her video her channel out you see what well, all we got up to it was, a, it was a fun small party we did in the house but yeah it was still nice and i did a lot of cooking i was so busy that day that i didn't even have time to vlog at all i did most of the cooking 
so yeah maybe i finished with the party like i was so tired i just passed out on the chair even i found myself on the chair the next morning it was around um five or so that i finally woke up and saw myself sleeping on the chair so that was just basically it and i saw my yeah i said so i saw my brother i'm so excited because it's been over when did he leave it's more, over four years since i saw my brother is he up to four years i think neto was um I can't remember i'll find out but it was over i think it's over four years since i saw him last and i'm happy to see him he didn't he come back for my brother's wedding last december so yeah he came this year i wish he was around then so it's probably more fun having everybody around well yeah that's basically the update on the vlog i just want to go on and continue my day but before I do that, I'll just sleep a little bit and freshen up and just continue my day. My tailor is coming today, so we have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of work to clear off. I want to try as much as possible to, to, to do a lot between today, which is Wednesday, and Friday. Because I need to go back to the mainland, maybe on Saturday, to pick up the kids. So that's it. I will catch up with you guys later. But that may is in my shoe and my bag. Yeah, Very nice. Very it's nice. fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Snatch the waist. <laughs> Thank you. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> the next day. So I've been home since actually having a headache. I'm trying not to talk too much. I've been home since Monday um, Tuesday, and I've been so busy. Like I'm so tired. I haven't really slept well because I've been working on the clock. I just sleep a little bit and then I get back on with it. And then a couple weeks doing things for myself is just annoying now that there's no chiamaka to do the cooking i still have to stop in between to make food so that we can eat i'm trying to make breakfast this morning it's already past 11 i woke up early because i have a delivery i had a u.s delivery i needed to send off this morning because so it's urgent i did that but i'm so tired because i didn't sleep well last night i slept around three and then i still woke up to woke up early because I needed to send it out. Anyway, I'm trying to make breakfast now. Eat and see if I'll have some energy. Eat and then maybe take medicine because I need to take some panadol. I need to take panadol because my head is, my head is aching me. I didn't even apply to my having my bath and I look scruffy, but you guys please. I don't care about myself right now. I just want to finish all the work I have so that I can start flexing in December. I want to try and finish everything I have by the 20th. Yeah, so that I will also enjoy my own Christmas holiday too. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm just tired right now. I'm doing that. <sighs> hey guys, so basically this vlog is just it's all over the place. I know it's all over the place, but I was here to like give it a proper ending. I still look tired like my last clip because for the past one week I have not been sleeping. I've been trying to meet up with you guys. You already know this still is i'm it's more like i'm showing you the behind the scenes of taylor life <laughs> in, in december okay so you guys just forgive my tiredness in this vlog and the all over the place nature of this vlog i just been vlogging here and there i haven't really had my thoughts together to do something you know more concise but ah, god if i tell you guys i'm having like the worst headache i, I think you may be able to even tell from my eyes i'm having the worst headache but the thing with my body is, I don't know, sometimes I just feel like my head and my body are not working together, okay? So my body wants to sleep, I'm dead tired, I'm having the worst headache. But my head, that's, I mean, not my actual head, but inside my head, my, my brain is on over work mode. So like, I'm trying to sleep, but I keep thinking, I keep thinking of things. A lot of things are happening right now for me. I keep thinking about them so it's not even letting me sleep 
hopefully this night i'll be able to sleep i don't know i have to just program my mind okay to sleep i'm really really tired having the worst headache but i have to just put my best foot forward to come and conclude this my scattered vlog okay so i hope you enjoyed watching it um i don't know if you did but if you didn't i'm sorry i'll do better okay but for now just take your my patch patch <laughs> vlog like that okay and um i'm right now in my sister's house i left the mainland today is saturday by the way i left my house in the morning i did some errands like i went to buy for you guys know like the hustle now to get for and my kind of work i need light i need light like all the time to have a good finish of my work i need to be ironed at some point so my big gen that is drinking full i have to keep you know using it so i went to get full to make sure that when i get back home tomorrow there's full uh, i went to get full yeah, because I usually go to all these big filling stations because these smaller filling stations, the price that they are charging on a litre is annoying. So I I find try to go like the extra mile to go like to a big filling station no matter how far or whatever the queue is. But thankfully where I usually go to they are organized so the, there's like the queue moves like really fast. So I was able to buy fuel. Then I also had to meet up with a client in Lekki, although I didn't meet her because I was because of the tra path, traffic. And let me just let me finish. I had to meet uh, meet up with her to pick up some stuff, although I didn't. She couldn't wait for me anyway, so she had to leave. So she left here with her sister. But the traffic today, tight rapper to rapper, Ibo blouse with gele. You know those gele, Odi gele, those kind of gele that when you wear it to church, you'll be blocking everybody behind you. That's the kind of traffic I enter today. Just to get from my house to my sister's house, I spent over four hours on the road. No kidding. That's all together. It was more than four hours because I had to stop over at Lekki and um, I had to also stop at the God is good to do a de delivery as well. So all that put together, I left my house about um, past 10 or to 11 thereabouts. Let's say to 11. And I got to my sister's house by past four. So that's about six hours, right? So anyway, <laughs> living in Lagos is not for the faint-hearted. Like, trust me, it's not for the faint-hearted. And I don't know why I'm even here. I don't like... Sometimes I think, okay, what exactly is my benefit <laughs> living in this state? I can still operate from any part of Nigeria. So why am I still here? Is this kind of period that has me thinking, what is my purpose in life in this Lagos? <laughs> because I don't even get it. I don't get it at all. It's just... It's just, you know, frustrating, but it is what it is. It's so hard to just pick up your whole life and, you know, move to another place entirely and start afresh. So I guess that's what's holding me back, but, you know, we die here, okay? For now, not to, like, move, leave this hijacker because this is not my final destination in life, okay? So anyway, um, I'm going to be ending the vlog. I hope I covered everything. I'm at my sister's house now and I'm going back home tomorrow. I just came for the sole purpose of picking up my kids and I'll be going back home with my brother he's going to come and know where i live at least for the first time because he hasn't been to this our new house yet because he's not been around as i said so I'm, he's going to go back home with me and i hope i can i'm looking forward to that because i really miss my brother i want to just have that quality time with him i really 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 miss him the best boy ever <laughs> anyway enough of the gushing and like let me just leave you guys and try to focus on getting some sleep which i'm sure i'm not going to get because my sister is going to come back very soon but yeah let me just pretend like I'm going to get to sleep after this, okay? I'll see you guys again in another vlog, hopefully soon. And yeah, manage me and my patch patch vlog for now. And I'll see you guys in another vlog, okay? Bye.